Microsoft industry clouds are already making waves in sectors like healthcare, retail, and manufacturing. Look for cloud solutions tailored to their unique circumstances. But you don't have to take my word for it. Take a look at this. All right, here to tell us how they play a key role in accelerating industry changing solutions is Vice President of Microsoft Industry Clouds and Solutions, Satish Thomas. Hello, Satish, how are you? Hello, Karana. Nice to be here. It's good to see you. Nice to see you as well. You know I'm really excited about this space and everything that you're you're doing. But I'm also excited about this story that you have. Will you tell our audience a little bit about how you ended up in this amazing role that you have? Cool. So um, I grew up in Botswana, Southern Africa. So for the folks, uh, you know, if you look at the map, we're right above South Africa. So I uh, and and I came to the U.S. to to study, and then I joined Microsoft as an intern uh, back in 2006. Uh, being around the company, worked in Dynamics 365 first in Azure, worked in our marketplaces, uh, and then now I have privilege the privilege of being part of this. A uh, huge strategic effort for our company around industry clouds uh, and solutions. So that's a little bit about my uh, quick journey in the last uh, 15 years of the company. I love that story. Intern to VP. That's pretty impressive uh, and also really speaks to the opportunity and the change that's happening in our uh, in our business right now. So I, I love that. Thanks for sharing. So let's talk about industry clouds and solutions a little bit. This is near and dear to my heart. I support different industries. I was an industry hire myself. Um, why should developers care about these industry clouds and how is it making their lives easier? Yeah. So I think essentially, I mean, if you look at everything that has happened in the last year, right? Uh, I mean, like what we what we like to say is, you know, decades or even years of in, uh, digital transformation has gone accelerated because industries have been almost uh, uh, forced to uh, adapt, otherwise kind of uh, have issues with the business, right? So if you look at, you know, I'm, I'm living my dream job. Essentially, we, uh, you know, from a from a Microsoft cloud perspective, we're essentially abstracting away so that developers can build industry specific use cases and leverage the best of what we have uh, in the Microsoft Cloud across our planet scale infrastructure, business processes, low code, no code uh, uh, platform, and then finally collaboration, right? So whatever is required for your application that is needed to solve that specific need in that industry in whichever region, you're able to use that and, and instead of worrying and building a lot of these Lego pieces, you can leverage it and go to uh, market faster. And to be honest, that's how a lot of uh, companies have, 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 have uh, handled the situation over the last year. And what we have also uh, done, you know, if you look at our Microsoft vaccination management solution, essentially it's built on the Microsoft Cloud for Healthcare and we were able to get that very quickly out to market, uh, which, you know, which is also very special to be able to play a small part in that because it led to millions of shots in arms uh, because of that technology that we built that is part of one of our industry clouds, in this case, specifically um, healthcare. Right. And, and you know, for, for the audience who may not have seen this, yet, you do a wonderful um, Lightboard session for us uh, in our double click session, really laying out what that architecture looks like and how people can think about these Lego blocks. So I want to call that out because we really appreciate you coming in and doing that and sharing that new way of sharing this information with the audience. Now, you talked a little bit about that one case study, but I know that you have others. But so should we be thinking about the fact that it's, it's, it, this uh, industry clouds are accelerating our ability to deliver these specific solutions? Is that how we should think about it? 
Absolutely. So if you look at, you know, we announced uh, the Microsoft Cloud for Healthcare, which is in, uh, in general availability last year. That was our first productized industry cloud. Uh, but since then, we've announced uh, the Microsoft Cloud for Financial Services, Microsoft Cloud for Nonprofit, Microsoft Cloud for uh, Manufacturing uh, and Retail. And essentially, if you if you look at that, each of those, so let me pick, uh, you know, one of those examples, like, for example, um, uh, the Microsoft Cloud for Retail, where in a lot of cases, it, you know, retailers were able to leverage that to, to build a deep understanding of the customer, which is very important in the retail industry, so that you can uh, cater for them, recommend the right next best uh, product. Uh, so we have customers such as Patagonia using that uh, to, to basically uh, build those use cases and adapt to the realities of, of the last year, especially, and, and, and ultimately kind of help them along that transformation journey. Like, and, and we have examples for that across each of these industry clouds, and that's why uh, it makes it so unique. Uh, and so much fun because uh, it's it's always exciting to learn more about these industries and ultimately help uh, developers working in these companies for each industry kind of build and and get uh, make those use cases live so that their businesses can succeed and 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 move forward as well. That's so true. And also, doesn't it present a tremendous opportunity with subject matter expertise in these business industries? Right. For me, I mean, maybe I'm thinking about that because that's how I came into technology was through having that specific information and, and understanding of the legal industry. But I would think that this is an opportunity for many people at this point. Yeah, actually, that's a very good point. And thanks for like, thanks for bringing that up. Because if you look at each of these industry clouds, right? So if you look at, take for my, uh, Microsoft Cloud for Financial Services, uh, one of the things is, you know, there's a lot of folks out there, obviously, that have um, subject matter expertise in that industry. So um, one of the things that we're, we're also doing as part of this is bringing those experts, you know, across engineering, sales and marketing into the company so that we can also um, you know, learn about those and make sure that the solutions that we're we're delivering ultimately kind of meet the needs of the customer. So it's been exciting from that perspective as well because it's not your traditional. Um, you know, we we have a mix of everything, but ultimately having that industry expertise uh, and obviously healthcare is different from financial services, different from manufacturing. So it's also a great opportunity to attract great talent into the ecosystem uh, and the company. Um, and, 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 you know, just like you, right, having great talent come in from the industry. So, so if anybody, you know, that, that's, that's also another great part of the, uh, the, the gig in addition to just the technology. Yes. Thank as much you. as I love the technology. I know, but it's the technology and the people together, right? Just like us. So I'm really glad that we had this time to, to hear about this and all the exciting work you're doing there. Thank you for joining us, Satish. Thank you so much. Cool. Thank you so much. To learn more, and I know you're going to want to learn more, visit aka.ms slash industry clouds.